Lady Nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89. Today's Anime Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Diamond No Ace Act 2, Episode 7, titled King. So, where we're starting off um, adaptation wise, and this is after the recap and the opening song, is going to be with uh, Chapter 16's adaptation of the manga. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, something I'm still noticing, and I'm going to tweet the animator about this again. Um, is that it's really really stiff a lot of the running is just ex and and some of the arm motions as well are just really goddamn stiff i don't know what the hell's going on with that and it's not just limited to diamond no ace act no there's been a lot of stiffness in a lot of the manga to anime adaptations i've been covering and it's been it, it was definitely in black clover like i could i had to stop watching black clover um the episode of black clover um, yesterday's episode of Black Clover because I just couldn't take it. It was just so bad. I was just like, I am not watching Black Meteorite be ruined like this again. Oh God. But it, that's a whole different thing. Anyway, um, let I'm I'm still disappointed that there's like not enough um, diversity in the art style especially when we're getting pitches and stuff. I just, I'm just so confused why we're sticking with this bright white background. I'm so sick of it. It's just, oh, it's driving me crazy. My God, Todoriki is like, even Todoriki is just looking so stiff because Todoriki is like just so straight. His neck is so straight when he's supposed to be like moving his neck. And it's just, oh, it's just driving me nuts on how stiff the animation's looking. This is weird. Oh my God. The four minute nine second mark and this is when we get the almost every pitcher stands on the third base side <gasps> oh this is cool i love the ghost in we got oh this looks amazing now this is what i'm talking about madhouse i need more and i and i something that i've noticed and i said this um last week as well is that something that madhouse has just been doing really well um animating is the um uh, inner monologues. The characters' inner monologues have just been animated so beautifully and symbolically. And we're getting, we got it last week with Sawamura especially. Oh my god, that was, oh, that was so amazing. And we're getting it right now, which is really, really cool. And I, I hope, and please keep doing this. Please keep doing this, Madhouse. Oh, this is at the 4 minute 19 second mark. And we're getting the visual explanation similar to what we got, um, uh, in last week as well. But the thing that's cool about this is that um, in the manga, you don't have, you know, the number one on even the ghosting uh, or, you know, the ghost of uh, the pitcher. And um, here we do, which I think is really cool. The only thing, though, that is bugging me, and this is at the 4 minute 19 mark especially, um, is, uh, is I kind of wish the one that's supposed to be ghosting is like, it, you know, it's supposed to be like, that, um, uh, you know, the positioning or whatever, I kind of wish it was still, like, in the visual explanation as well, at least for me, but, uh, I'm very curious what you guys think, but I really like, I'm really digging what we're getting here for the, um, visual explanation, it looks really nice. Ooh, it, it, there it was, the 4 minute 23 second mark with the two different, you know, um, oh my god, streaks that were coming out of the balls, there's that symbolism, good, this good stuff, Good stuff so far, Madhouse. I gotta say, something that, I, and I should have said this right off the bat, I really like um, the diversity that we're getting in the soundtrack. Because, like, for the majority of the time, it's been, like, this kick-ass rock music, vari variations of it. And now we're getting, and there's times where we get this as well, we get this really kick-ass orchestral soundtrack, and, oh, the music nerd in me loves it. Like, the, I think that's the best thing about this manga anime adaptation, I'm not gonna lie, is, um, is the soundtrack is just so rockin'. I love it so much. I'm, I'm, I'm betting this is a, just a, a translation said, sir, because it's supposed to, they're supposed to be that buttocks, those thighs. Yeah, she's staring at, at, at his ass, dude. Um, but, uh, <sighs> Speaking of the lower limbs, that has got to be the most stiff thing in the animation so far. Um, it, for especially for the past couple of weeks, is is mainly the lower body is so goddamn stiff when they're running. It's just driving me freaking nuts. And I know I'm repeating myself, but goddamn it, it's annoying. Red, the red right before uh, the batter hit the ball. 
hit my the Nas balls. This is like at the five minute, um, 55, 56 second mark. Yes, yes, yes. Give me more. Give me more of that. And I'm telling you guys, you can go on my Twitter and look. I tweet one uh, and I follow one of the um, animators for uh, Diamond Oasis Act 2. And I, I've been telling them what what I've been looking for and what's, you know, been lacking and shit is getting done. So tweeting is amazing. I gotta tell you, the Twitter powers are just awesome. And, and yes, I'm using mine for good. I'm using mine to, to benefit the community. And it seems seems to be working and it is very very nice i love the music that we got for like for um and this is like a little bit before the uh, six minute 40 second mark like the, the rock track that we're getting it's just so cool because we're basking in the glow of um of caution it's just oh god the symbolism here is just great it's like like a we are the champions kind of moment here it's really nice the inner monologues this episode are just animated really, really nice. I'm loving the art style that we're getting and the shading and the contrast. It's just, it works so well. And the thing that's really nice about the inner monologues is it's not always the same. There's a, there's diversity going on with the art style for the inner monologues. And it just, again, it kind of frustrates me a little bit at the same time because it's like I really wish we were getting some of this diversity in the animation and, and the arts, well, moreover the art style with like the pitches and shit and it's just it's really frustrating that it's not that madhouse is not going in that direction i don't understand why but whatever so when we're seeing may walk it just oh god it is just looking so fierce and i look and i kind of like that this is where the white works for me because he's supposed to be the king and um, fuck, it just, it works, and I love the slow-mo we're getting, I love the cut back and forth we're getting, it really is looking fierce, I like this, see, this is what I mean by symbolism, you can use white backgrounds if you want to go the symbolistic route, which is going on right now, but if you're just gonna have white backgrounds for the sake of white backgrounds, it really pisses me the fuck off, but I really love this shot at the 7 minute 22 second mark, and yeah, you, I know, it, 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 it shouldn't work as well as the contrasting is right now, especially since the uniforms are white, but it is, and the reason why is because of the shadowing, the shadowing is just perfect, and it's really given us that nice contrast, it's very, very flattering, I love just as the bag drops, and the pitch, go that's when, you know, the pitch just went. And, oh, that was really nice. I, I loved it because it kind of, you know, it symbolizes how fast these pitches are going. Holy shit. Did you guys see that background for May's, for May's pitch, that second pitch with that dark blue? Thank you, God. Oh, my God. It looks, oh, ooh. And also, the soundtrack is rocking. My boy May is getting some rocking soundtrack right now. Thank you. God, oh my God, this is what we're getting with May right now with these pitches. Oh shit, this is exactly, exactly what I've been wanting. This is what I've been looking for for a long ass time with these pitches. Ooh, and I love, and this is at 7 minute 55, 56 second mark. We got the slow motion of the ball going. Oh, this is so amazing. Oh my freaking God. And also this soundtrack is just rocking. I love it, love it, love it. Ooh, okay, so at the 8 minute 14 second mark, like, for this particular panel, um, or the corresponding panel, I'm sorry, it's just a black panel with, uh, the dialogue, I love here at the 8 minute 14 second mark, it's just a close-up of the number, of May's number one, and, oh, it, it's so cool, I love it, this is good, good stuff. Yes! I'm telling you, my Twitter powers work, because I said, and I posted a gif of, um, of, of May from at the end of last week's episode, and I said, I want more of this, please. Please give me some cool art styles like this. And oh, I can see you, and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the, um, how we ascended to this, too. Like, notice that the backgrounds for, like, the other players were, like, this dark blue, right? And then we get to May, and it, and when he says, I'm the king, bitch, and he has the same background from last week. Oh, my God, this makes me so happy. This makes me very, very happy. And, yes, I'm using my tweeting powers for good. I definitely am. <laughs> the 8 minute 30 second um, mark is when we get to chapter, uh, to chapter 17's adaptation of the manga. So, let's keep going. I do not mind these, it just being black, black in the background for, for these pitches. I do not mind this at all. I'm 
real, again, I'm really liking we're actually getting some fucking diversity going on in this art style and this animation. It's freaking refreshing. I love that we got that plop at the 10 minute 6 second mark. That was just, or, uh, well, it was like the 10 minute 4 or 5 second mark. That was just awesome. The sound effect for it was just, oh, so it was everything. This was awesome. This works from, I, I will take this. At the 10 minute 38 second mark, when we see my boy Todoriki, even though there's that white background going on, you see that red aura going going on too around Todoriki. I'm, if you want, please do it. I'm down with this. This is what I want. I want this aura. I need it. I kind of wish it was a full on red background, but dude, it looks fucking cool. I don't care at the, right now. Yes, the comedic moment is great. When, this is like an 11 minute, 10 second mark. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh god, don't fuck with the king. Just do not fuck with him. Me ain't buying your shit. <laughs> I love it. I love you, May. May is such an ass, and I love it. I am living for May being an asshole. Fucking far. <laughs> Oh my god, this fucking part, <laughs> I love that May, May just roasted him, he's like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Like, <laughs> I mean, did he take all night to come up with that fun? That's <laughs> so fucking awesome. I love it how um, it's being animated too, like how, like, it's highlighting the person that um, is doing the inner monologue. It's just, it's, this is great, Madhouse. I'm sorry, but Todoriki looks so fucking funny at the 12 minute 16 second mark. I'm just, I'm just, I just can't. It's just so funny. 13 minute 27 second mark. Yes, there's my background. There's my aura. That is my man, Todoriki. AKA, like, my third favorite character in this fucking series. Or, not third, I'm sorry. My um, he's either my fourth or my fifth favorite character in this series. I totally have lost track on who my favorite characters are right now. God damn, this is looking awesome. This, this is, this is a, exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Thank you, Madhouse, for doing this. Right before the 14 minute mark, when Todoriki was about to swing, did you see that red aura there? Oh, yes. I need this. I need more of this. I, I, I do. I need this for when Solomon Morris pitching. I need it for when Miyuki's batting. I, uh, Miyuki is batting. I definitely need it. I need it for when Kominato is batting. I need it for when Pariah is pitching. I need this more. Please, 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 please. This is exactly what I wanted. So at about the 14 minute 3 second mark, we go into uh, chapter 18's adaptation of the manga. Yes, yes. Every time it goes, the camera goes, um, we get to the, a shot of Todoriki, it's all red. And I love it. I love it. I love it. It is so freaking awesome. And again, as I said, I need more of this, please. Please give me more of this. I need, like, this anime would be like freaking art if we got more of this. And you're damn right, this is my, my man Todoriki's theme music. This better be my man Todoriki's theme music because it is so perfect. Did, did you guys see that 15 minute 28 29 second mark when we saw that that split screen and my boy may is in blue and my and, and my and my boy Todoriki's in red yes this is what i wanted this is what i wanted thank fucking god that house did it this right i'm so freaking happy right now you have no idea look at this at the 15 minute 37 second mark that is so gorgeous again again we need more of this please this entire pitch right here is just perfect this is exactly exactly how shit should be i'm sorry oh my god exactly how shit should be being we should we should be we should have had this the entire fucking time but oh god i love it i love it so much and, I, and the other thing i gotta say that i love is like you see where it's turning purple because of the red mixed it with the blue oh god it looks so cool this looks so fucking cool oh my god i love how everyone's reactions are either like red or like shaded in red or blue like you know the same as Todoriki or um Todoriki and May depending on who they're rooting for I love it this is so cool and I love the 60 minute four second mark this background the ball just this is life oh my god this is amazing top of that we're getting some slow motion oh god this is just oh my god this is amazing only when May walks off the mound does the color go back to you know the color palette goes you know back to the regular color palette and oh god this is so good i love it i love it i love it and oh god okay the thing that's that ruined this for me 
just now is the fucking stiffness of 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 May when he's when he's running. It looks so goddamn stiff. Please fix this. Stop making mom stop making everyone look so stiff when they're running. It looks awful. That transition at the 18 minute like 27 28 second mark was awesome. Oh god, to symbolize that hopelessness. Love it, love it, love it. That 18 minute 51 second mark. I love it, love it, love it. Right before the 19 minute mark, we get to chapter 19's adaptation of the manga. 18 minute 54 second mark. My man Todoriki, look at those red eyes. He is looking bomb. Oh my god, and this music is just so perfect. Holy shit, I love it. I really love that the soundtrack, and I just realized this, that the soundtrack is like fighting against each other too. It's like a duel of, um, of like the or orchestra versus rock. Um, and then we have, you know, the duel versus obviously Todoriki and May. I love it. That is so freaking clever. I see what you're doing here, Madhouse. Give that give that composer a goddamn raise. He is brilliant. Flashback animation. We got actual flashback animation. This is starting at the 20 minute 8 second mark. It is so beautiful. Oh my god, I love this art style so goddamn much. This is so perfect. Oh my god, this art style is just... Oh god, can we get more flashbacks in this art style, please? Oh man, yeah, I am definitely tweeting... Tweeting, um... Uh... Uh, the contact I have that's one of the animators for uh, Diamond Oasec 2 and tell and giving them a thumbs up because woo, this is amazing. I'm loving this. I'm loving the diversity in the art style um, uh, throughout this episode so far. And I really love this flashback animation. This is gorgeous. I need more. More of this, please. The flashback animation is consistent. I Because like we went back to modern for just a second and then we went back to flashback and it works this is just gorgeous oh my god madhouse where the fuck have you guys been where the fuck have you guys been the past few weeks damn i should have tweeted this the animator sooner holy fuck this is awesome this soundtrack is just amazing it's kind of i'm trying not to cry because it's just so beautiful but oh my god when we see them in tra training in the snow oh god the oh god it looks so gorgeous the color palette is just so beautiful with this art style. I love it so freaking much. The final frame of this episode, again, again, is badass as fuck. Oh my god. Okay, so let me give you my thoughts on the episode. Writing, perfect. No problems with, we've, that's a rare thing for this, um, for this anime. Is, is, for adaptation wise, I mean. Writing is, has been, is perfect. Let's talk about the animation. There's still a little stiffness going on. But, oh my god, I, I'm probably, I have to say, this is probably one of the best animated um, episodes. Minus the stiffness. For the fact that, because of the fact that Madhouse diversified the art style, gave us some beautiful symbolism with the animation, which it, uh, art and animation, which is what tr needs to be done for manga to anime adaptations. That's why I like them, because I like seeing the creativity. And boy, did we get creative this week. Woohoo! We got a lot of creativity going on. I think, um, I real, and I'm really hoping we're going to get more of this. Uh, and yes, I'm going to tweet the animator. Uh, uh, again, I'm going to tweet them and tell them, please, more of this and just fix the stiffness a little bit but wow it is just especially when we got that red versus blue going on with may and uh, Todoriki. oh god that was so gorgeous and on top of that like how the soundtrack fitted in with that was just amazing i the soundtrack even had symbolism going on and it was beautiful oh my god madhouse keep doing this keep keep the symbolism up like this this was fran freaking fantastic um animation wise though again the only thing that's preventing this from being a perfect um episode for me is the stiffness um that we had but other than that oh god this is this this is probably the best episode we've gotten so far oh hands down definitely the best episode we've gotten so far period very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Sync. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Diamond No Ace content, uh, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All it's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans. 
I'll be seeing you later. Bye.